So this question looks like initially um, a simplified question. So it definitely has the anatomy of a simplified question. And what I mean by that is it's short. Simplified questions are usually between one and three lines long. And it also has an equation here. Um, but when I, look at, when I look at the question and especially the answer choices a little bit more carefully, I notice that the equation that's been provided is all variable. And the answer choices all have a variable, which means I'm probably going to need to also use plug in your own number, right? So the strategy, plug in your own number. So hopefully that was a good explanation for you to see how I can pretty quickly figure out which strategies to use before actually reading the question. Again, it's short, there's an equation, and then I have all these variables is how I get to these two things. So let's start reading and see how simplify and plug in your own number come together. So the question says, in the equation above, if A is negative, okay, well, based upon plug in your own number, I'm going to say A is equal to negative 2. That's my favorite number to start with. You can choose a different number. In fact, I suggest you choose a different number just to prove that you'll still get the exact same answer that I get here. And then the, que then the question goes on to say B is positive. So I'm going to say B is positive 3, right? So I usually like 2, but because I've already used the negative 2, I'm going to go up 1 and say B is 3. Which of the following must be true? Well, if I have been told that A minus B over A, in fact, this will go under the simplify category, A minus B over A equals C, and now I'm saying that A is negative 2 and B is 3, right? So again, my A down here is negative 2. Then all of that equals C. So when I simplify this, this becomes negative 5 divided by negative 2 equals C. And therefore, C is equal to actually positive 5 over 2 because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Next step here is to look at the answer choices and see which one of those answer choices matches with what I just found by plugging in my own number and simplifying the fraction here. So choice A says that C is greater than 1. Well, yeah, it definitely is. 5 halves is equivalent to 2.5, which is definitely larger than 1. And again, anytime I plug in my own number, I just want to make sure I'm trying every single answer choice. Um, so even though A works, I'm not going to just choose it and move on. Let's make sure that it's the best answer. So choice C, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, choice, choice B says that C equals 1. Well, that's not true. So I just figured out something where C does not equal positive 1. Choice C says C equals negative 1. So for the same reasons, that's also not true because we found that C equals 5 halves. And lastly, choice D says that C is less than negative 1, and that's also not true. So that just makes me feel even better about choice A being the correct answer.